This is the brand new Samsung Galaxy A80. It's a premium mid-range smartphone that can do this. And with it comes a lot of things that I want to talk about in this video. Stay tuned. So since this is the first ever smartphone that can do this type of thing, you can actually get a lot of new features that are only possible with this thing. So for example, behind here you can see that there's actually three cameras. So you get a main 48 megapixel shooter right here and then an ultra wide angle camera which is the widest of them all. You get a 123 viewing angle. So yeah, it's impressive for a smartphone like this. And then you also get a 3D TOF camera right here. So to go on one by one, I'll first talk about a 48 megapixel camera right here. Like I showed you just now, you can take 48 megapixel selfies as well. So you do this and then it rotates to your face, front facing, and then you get 48 megapixels worth of pixel count with full autofocus. So this is one of the only mid-range smartphones that can do this. And then of course, if you want to take sceneries as well, you can just do this, flip back to the back, and then you can take 48 megapixels worth of beautiful scenery. And then comes the ultra wide angle camera. So one thing that's fantastic about this camera setup particularly is that you can take multiple different selfies in terms of field of view. So the first one here, you can take a rather tight field of view for your selfie. So you can take uh, only your face alone. And then if you have a few more people, you can tap the second button right here to expand the field of view a little. And then finally, you can use the ultra wide angle camera to take selfies. Once again, there's a 123 degree viewing angle so you can fit in a lot of people in just one shot. And most fantastically is that the 48 megapixel shooter in this phone right here is actually pretty fast. Once again, the Snapdragon 730 is not capable of taking 48 megapixels of pictures natively but you will have to do a little bit more post-processing to capture that 48 megapixel picture. So. What Samsung did here is to optimize the software to take that 48 megapixels picture in a very fast speed. So compared to a very similarly spec phone, which is the Mi 9T, which is also using the Snapdragon 730 by the way, that phone took about 4 seconds between pressing the shutter and the picture appearing in the gallery. For the Galaxy A80, it takes only about 2 seconds. So it is much faster and I really appreciate the fact that you can take 48 megapixels worth of autofocusing selfie pictures. Back to the third camera of the Samsung Galaxy A80 here is the 3D TOF camera. So here you can take beautiful live focus videos. So you can take uh, videos of yourself or maybe your partner with beautiful bokeh at their backs. And that is the only utilization of the 3D TOF camera right here. Though I think that Samsung can really take advantage of the third camera through a firmware update in the future. And by the way, you can also record your selfie videos in beautiful 4K 30fps. In terms of the picture quality of the Galaxy A80, it's actually pretty decent as well. So you can switch between your 48 megapixel and your ultra wide angle camera and the color consistency is still maintained. Although Samsung never really optimized much in terms of other modes, so it's a really good point and shoot camera for any scenes but when it comes to specific modes like night mode that is actually available on the camera itself right now it's well it still needs a bit more work i think that since we are already reviewing the galaxy a80 we have to talk about the camera mechanism as well so i've seen a lot of people saying that the camera mechanism will be the first thing to fail but i don't think so because the first ever unit of the galaxy a80 review unit that we have was actually dropped so what I saw was a dent on the top right corner here. It's really badly dent, but then the camera still works. It works fine. The camera still pops up and rotates without any issues. Although you can say that the camera is a bit noisy when rotating. I will let you hear. Yeah, it's not the fastest or the quietest, but it works. It's robust. And with this pop-up mechanism for your cameras, what you get is this really beautiful 6.7 inch 1080p Super AMOLED display. So right here you can see full view display without any notches or cutout. It looks really good and it looks somehow feels like a different phone from a different generation, a different era. And with it, I would say it's a pretty good trade-off since I don't really take selfies at all. 
and since it is using a Super AMOLED screen, you can watch HDR videos from YouTube or if you can find any on Netflix, you can watch that as well. With such an immersive display comes an immersive gaming experience as well. So we tested three games as usual. First off, we go for Honkai Impact 3. The performance of this thing that is powered by the Snapdragon 730 and 8GB of RAM handles it really well. So I have no complaints there unless you're using some intense character like you know that god kiana character thing that thing will really tax your hardware but once again the frame drops are very minimal although you can still get a really good performance out of it and then we also tested ashpot 9 no problems there at the highest graphical settings and then we also tested pubg mobile which is a funny situation so we ran pubg mobile as of this time on both the mi 90 and also the galaxy a80 both of them are using the new snapdragon 730 which unfortunately is not optimized yet so PUBG Mobile is having a bit of an issue there. Then comes a few complaints that I have with the Galaxy A80 right here. So because of how the mechanism is popping off the entire top part of the phone, you only have a secondary microphone found here and nothing else. So everything will have to be stuffed at the bottom including your SIM card tray and also your loudspeaker, your USB port, whatever. And with it comes the absence of the headphone jack which I truly miss although Samsung did give us a USB Type-C earphone in the box itself so yeah you get that although for other headphones or earphones you will need to get an audio jack dongle like the one from Ugreen. Another complaint that I have is the lack of a micro SD card slot. So the SIM card slot here is actually using the dual sided card slot design. There's one at the top, one at the bottom and it fits right here. There's no micro SD card slot unfortunately, which I really, really want it to be retained as well. Then comes the battery of the Samsung Galaxy A80. It comes with a 3700mAh battery. It's not the largest in the market right now, although it can still last you for a day. The Snapdragon 730 in this thing can last you for about 11 hours in our tests. Then comes the charger of the Samsung Galaxy A80. It is the first ever smartphone from Samsung that uses a 25 watt of charger. So from 15% all the way to 100, the 25 watts of charger took about 88 minutes. And then the standard 15 watt charger, fast charging from Samsung, it took about 90 something minutes. So you can see the graph right here because of how the charging curve works. The 25 watts hour will give you faster charging time if you are in a hurry. And then comes the standard 5 volts to amp that took us about 116 minutes to charge from 15 all the way to 100. So that's a big improvement in terms of charging speed for Samsung right there. And then comes the price of this premium mid-range smartphone. It is priced at 2499 which is a very very steep price but knowing that Samsung actually over-engineered the whole smartphone right here, I will consider this as more of a concept smartphone that conventional users will get. So it is a really good design right here, it is well engineered, it is robust although the price is really steep and I do hope that over several generations ahead, this price will drop and make it more affordable for everyone to buy. So that is all for the Samsung Galaxy A80. I will leave you links to all of the benchmarks and everything in the description below. And I hope to see you in the next video for more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.